I want to talk now just briefly about pottery. And we're just going to look at a few pieces. And first I want to bring your attention to a Jewish oil lamp. And as you look at it, you see the oil would go in here and the wick would hang out this end. And this is an authentic piece. And you see that if there's any illustrations at all on these, they're usually just geometrics uh, on, on that. And I do not have a, a bowl or a container, but uh, they would be also just very plain. Now, this row here, we have also an oil lamp, but this is a Roman oil lamp. And we see here, we know him as Cupid, but the, the god Eros, or for erotic, and we see his image here. And again, the wick would go out this end and the oil inside. And then as we continue in the Roman period, and we look at this bowl, and this is an authentic bowl that has been repaired. And again, we see in the Roman use, the utilitarian style of the pottery. Now, they did have a reddish type pottery, and we see uh, some elements of that still in this bowl here. And then we go to this small wine jug here, and this is authentic as well. Now, notice how simplistic the pottery is here of the Roman period. Now, let's move over to the Greek period. These are replicas. The originals are in museums. And this is an oil lamp and geometric in style. And typically on Greek pottery, they are much more embellished with their uh, gods, their stories. And these were objects of their worship uh, and to remind themselves. And we see here a, a bowl and uh, with a warrior, um, perhaps Hercules in this uh, bowl here. And note the detail and to the Greek mind. And then here we have one of Artemis as the huntress carrying a bow. And again, to remind them of the things that they worshiped. Now, quickly, I want you to think of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the three synoptic gospels. Matthew appeals to the Jewish mind, and the key word in Matthew is fulfill, and the fulfillment of the prophecies and scriptures talking about the Christ who would come. Then we move into Mark, appealing to the Roman mind. Mark is the shortest of the gospel, 16 chapters, and the Roman mind, things that appealed to them was the authority of Rome, and uh, power. And the key words in Mark, we see when Jesus did a miracle or things were followed immediately, the person received strength or received their sight. Uh, he spoke with authority. The Roman mind would have understood that. But then when you get to Luke, Luke begins his gospel to set out an orderly account of all of those things. And it is the Greeks that are credited with writing history in a more timeline fashion, chronological fashion. That would not have been as important to uh, the Roman mind or to the Jewish mind. But the Greeks, this is part of where we get our Western thinking today. And as we look at the styles and potteries, and you look at the way that the Gospels are written, you can see the Gospels are written to appeal to a certain mindset, and then they continue to appeal to us today.